السلام علیکم فرینڈس ٹوڈے وی آر ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا لائف آف محترمہ فاطمہ جنا یس دا سسٹر آف گریٹ پرسنالٹی اینڈ ہیرو دا لیڈر آف پاکستان اینڈ دا فاؤنڈر آف پاکستان قائد اعظم محمد علی جنا ڈیئر فرینڈس ٹوڈے از ون ٹوینٹی سیونتھ اینول برتھ ڈے آف محترمہ فاطمہ جنا وی آر ہیئر ٹو پرووائڈ اے ٹریبیوٹ to Mothrama Fatima Jana. May God rest his soul. I'm going to share early life and struggles of Mothrama Fatima Jana. And on this again, today is the day of Mothrama Fatima Jana, the mother of our nation. And today is 127th birthday of Mothrama Fatima Jana. And today we are a tribute to this legend personality of Pakistan. Early life, Fatima Jinnah was born in Karachi on 30th July 1893. Jinnah had seven siblings. Muhammad Ali Jinnah was the eldest one in the family. And Fatima Jinnah was the second last child of the family in this family of seven siblings. She was the closest one to Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Her well-known and respected brother became her guardian after the death of death of her father in 1901. Fatima Jinnah joined the Bandra convert in Bombay in 1902, where she remained in hostels as her parents had died. In 1919, she got admitted to the highly competitive University of Calcutta, where she attended the Dr. R. Ahmed Dental College. After she granted from their graduation, she wanted and went with her idea of opening a dental clinic in Bombay in 1923. Companion of Qaeda Azam, she lived with her elder brother Muhammad Ali Jinnah until 1919. At the time, Jinnah married Ratan Bai. Later on, Ratan Bai died after 11 years in February 1929. Fatima Jinnah then closed her clinic and twined it. She took the charge of Jinnah's house and went to his Bangalore. After that, the relation of brother and sister will become an example as their companionship lasted until the death of his brother, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, on 11th September 1948. Qaidi Azam once said about his sister, My sister was like a brilliant and bright ray of light and hope whenever I became back home and me her. Anxieties would have been much greater and my health much worse. but for the restraint imposed by her. In all, Fatima Jina lived with her brother about 28 years. The Qaid Yasum would discuss various problems with her sister, mostly on the breakfast and dinner table. She didn't only live with her brother, but she also accompanied her brother on the memorial tours. She also joins him in London when he remains there after the second round table conference in 1932. Political life of Motorma Fatima Jinnah. She was involved in political side by side with her brother. When All India Muslim League was being organized, Motorma Fatima Jinnah became the member of working committee of Bombay Provincial Muslim League and worked there until 1947. In March 1940, she attended the Lahore Resolution of Pakistan and Muslim League. It was because of her that All India Muslim Student Federation was organized in February 1941 at Delhi. During the transfer of power, Fatima Jinnah formed a Women's Relief Committee. Later on, it was formed as the nucleus. Father APWA Apua, known as All Pakistan Women Association, founded by Rana Liaquat Ali Khan. She did it at a lot of job for the settlement of Maharaj Mahajir's 
after the creation of Pakistan. She also returns towards the political life when she ran for the residency of Pakistan. Election of 1965, she returned to the forefront of political life in 1960. Her opponent was Ayub Khan and she arrested him as a dictator. In her early rallies, almost 250,000 people came to see her in Dhaka and millions of people that millions of people lined from their uh, Chattagong. Her train, which was called Freedom Special Train, was 22 hours late because men at each station pulled the emergency brake and they begged her to speak to him. She was held as the mother of the nation. In the rallies of Motorma Fatima Jinnah said, that by coming to return with India on the Indus water dispute, Ayub surrendered control of river to India. Madari Milat was per properly acclaimed as Madari Milat or mother of the nation for her role in the freedom movement, except for her tour to East Pakistan in 1954. She has not participated in political since Independence Day. Presidential candidates were announced be beginning of Pacific Democracy elections, which was to constitute the electro ele Electoral College for the presidential and assembly elections. Elections were held on 2nd January 1965. There were four candidates which were taking a part in the election. Ayub Khan, Motrama Fatima Jinnah and two other persons which were not affiliated with any other party. It was held in a short period of one month. Ayub Khan had a great advantage over all the candidates he until the state political as the head of the state and didn't hesitate and hesitate to legislate on electrical matters. Being a political opportunist, he brings he brought the distinguished elements together to support him. He also acted another mean action to get victory over Fatima Jinnah by having the support of ulema that were of the view and in this law women cannot be head of the state. This was the worst action from Ayub Khan. On the other hand, the mother Emilat had a great advantage of being sister of Kaidi Azam. The companion of Fatima Jinnah generated the people of Pakistan's feelings of hope. Crowds in the all cities of East and West Pakistan <coughs> were enormous. The campaign, however, suffers from the member and a number of problems. The poor in direct elections through the basic democracy system unfair and poor finance were some of the major problems that Fatma Jinnah was facing. Fatma Jinnah anyhow lost the election because of the unfair means used by Ayub Khan, so he became the president of Pakistan. That was the huge setback for the people of Pakistan. Had the elections been held through direct ballot, Fatma Jinnah was have won it easy easily and she would be the president of Pakistan. The elections were right in the favor of Ayub Khan. The Sayyid race people said that they will support Ayub in elections but Fatima Jinnah said that she can represent them better than Ayub Khan. Both the Azam and his sisters avoid a sacred trends level. Mother Emilat, she was known as the Mother Emilat of our nation, the mother of our nation. Fatima Jinnah's name is an important one among the leaders of Pakistan movement. She is the most loved one for being the closest supporter of her brother and founder of Pakistan, Kaitiyas Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the leader of All India Muslim League. But she is much more than that from Fatima Jinnah. 
she joined the All India Muslim League and attended the annual sessions of party. Fatima Jinnah contributed in the social development sectors has been ignored. She along with Beg Liaquat Khan, Begum, Liaquat Khan made the greatest contribution in the real realm of women awakening and participating in the nation affairs. Death on 11th July 1967, in the early hours, she discovers that doctors pronounced that the reason is heart failure due to old age. Many newspapers published this report. Other like MAH as funny said her death was a result of natural causes. When Lady Hidayatullah and her niece opened her bedroom door, they found Fatima Jinnah lying on bed with her hand on her neck. They also noticed that her dressing room was opened with she always kept locked before going to bed and even the door is to the gallery was open. But Lady Hidayatullah said there were no marks on her neck. The first to link her death with political murder openly was Hassan A. H. Sheikh who has with political murder openly was Hassan Sheikh who had handled her elections campaign against Ayub Khan. He demanded to, go to the government of Yahya Khan to do justice to her death. The murder theory can occur currency from the state of Haji Kalu, an aged man who had prepared a body for burial. He revealed that there were injuries on her, her, her person, but the old man was asked to keep silent.